Previously on Torres the Tank Engine. Torres? Torres, where are you? Look at all these comments saying Akiza, buy Akiza. Fine! First thing today, it will be done. No need to worry. Good. Remember, the viewers want it. Torres. Yeah? You need goalkeeper. Our current one is fine, Roman. No, no, he isn't. Buy a new one now. Do I have any choice in this at all? Mm, no. Now go and buy a goalkeeper. <laughs> Hello everybody, my name is Bodens and welcome to Torres the Tank Engine. This is episode 4 and I hope you do enjoy it. Before we get into the episode though, if you are looking to buy or sell Ultimate Team Coins, then check out the link in the description. They're called FIFA Coin Traders and they're a trustworthy and reliable source for coins. So make sure to check them out. Anyway guys, into the episode and as you can see, we have um, 3,500 coins and um, 4 cars did sell from the packs that we did open yesterday. We're going to open another pack because Torres still needs fitness. And unfortunately we didn't get a fitness card in that. So hopefully we can sell them um, for a profit or just equal it. And then we do go and buy a 250 coin um, fitness card for Torres because I was getting really, really bored of using them. But as you know, Torres or Roman um, did say to Torres that we need to buy a goalkeeper. So that is what we're aiming for this episode. I'm going to try and buy um, the Valencia goalkeeper. I forgot his name, but you'll see we do hopefully buy him in the later episode. But going into this match, as you see, he does have a bronze team and he takes the lead with the... Um, with his striker there and I was extremely annoyed this match was very very frustrating and as you can see there Torres hitting the crossbar which is really unfortunate I was expecting to go into this game dominating and hopefully getting a win as you can see here though um, Fernando Torres has a great great finish with his weak foot across the goalkeeper I'm surprised he didn't get a foot to that the goalkeeper but then again he is a bronze goalkeeper um, but this match like I said was annoying you'll see here a shot nearly nearly um defeating our bronze goalkeeper and his um, he was just on the attack so much my my goal players were not performing to the best and here Adrian goes on the run and his goalkeeper makes a fantastic save running out and stopping that um, going in and here Torres does make it 2-2 I think that is and with a fantastic header so he is really performing well oh, it's actually 2-1 right now and as you see we're on top but um, a shot does um, be saved by the goalkeeper and then he has a shot saved by my goalkeeper this was kind of what it was like throughout the whole match but you got to remember that I have goal players on my team and they were just performing so bad and you see there zonal marking which is what real life football hates and he just comes and runs along and gets the ball it's always man on man marking which is the best in real life and probably on the game we probably should try that out more but it's impossible to do because it's the AI's fault and there you go, he does get a goal and that makes it 3-2 to him because this stupid game is pretty stupid. If you uh, if you um, don't like me moaning or anything, you might want to leave this episode because honestly it gets worse than this in the last match. But we do have three matches and a nice long episode so if you've got, of course guys if you are looking um, to see another one of these episodes tomorrow then drop a like on the episode. You absolutely dominate the like target yesterday so thank you so much for that. But as you can see the next match we go into is a 4-5-1 Full of BPL goal team apart from Nene and Akinfeev in goal. So again, it's just the EA matchmaking is not the best. Um, but we take the lead instantly in six minutes with Adrian. He does a finesse that right into the, um, or right past the goalkeeper really. He should have probably got a foot to that or something. Um, and he does take the lead again. Or it's 2-0 now. Um, absolute domination in this game really. And here, um, Gonzalez, or Canales, sorry, comes and just scores that one. It's 3-0 and we haven't missed a shot yet. As you can see, Torres here, he wants to get a goal. He nearly finds the back of the net. Akinfeev stopping him though. And remember, Akinfeev is on like six chemistry. So to make a save like that, that is fantastic. And to finish the round up, we are going to score with Adrian. That is a fantastic goal. He is a fantastic player and that was a really, really fantastic goal. But 4-0 and the guy says, no, I have had enough of this game. I've got a full goal team and I'm getting dominated. So yeah, I would be like that to be honest. That is what I'm like in the next game. But we are going to go and see if we can buy our goalkeeper at last. I have had him in the watch list for a long time. As you can see, we've got six points, hoping to get ten by the end of this episode or uh, next episode, sorry. Um, as you can see, we do buy him. He is called Guaita. I really can't pronounce his name, but all of you recommended him last episode, which is why Roman said we need a goalkeeper because people do want it. Um, we're going to plonk him in the squad. He costs 400 coins, which is a bargain. He was going for like 2,000 coins on a buy now, so I was not paying for that for him. So I definitely wanted to see if I could get him cheap, and we did. So that is what the team is looking like going into the next match. Hopefully we can find an easy opponent. But, however, this is what we come against. A 4-3 1-2 formation, that is a really, really good formation. He has Benzema, he has Falcao, he has Kaka, Espion, um, Diabilonzo, Puyol, 
Uh, Pepe, Fabio Contrao, Casillas in goal. This is a team to be reckoned with. He doesn't have the 100, chem 100 chemistry, but who cares when you've got a team like that? We can hit the post. That's what we're going to do. 15 minutes in, and we've already hit the post. I'm liking the look of this match. And he does skim our post, which is kind of brings it even now. Um, and we're going to try and score with our bronze player. And his Casillas makes a fantastic, fantastic save. I'm sure he's never made that for me when I have used him before. And we're going to try and score again. But a bronze player was dribbling around. And I've really forgot his name. But, um, it, of course, I put too much power on it. It went over the bar. Can Torres make it 1-0? Yes, he can. Fantastic dribbling. Fantastic footwork by him. And he does make it 1-0. And it's just before half time when we get another attack. Can we go and score? No, we can't because the post denies it again. Um, and that is twice now in one half, so hopefully we can try and win this half, and he goes and scores. That is just before the 45th minute, making it 1-1, one, one. and you can see the stats, it, we have had 8 shots, and he has only had 3, and he is 1-1, one, one. and oh. and we do go and score anyway. That's a nice bonus, 50 minutes in, I was really trying to focus on this game, trying to get a win, however, we tackle him there, and he gets the ball back, and then Benzema scores, making it 2-2. Two, two. I'm getting incredibly frustrated here, and he goes on the run again with Benzema, and he goes it past the goalkeeper. Oh, that's a goalkeeper from State, to be honest, because I really think he should have saved that. Here, though, he gets a shot, deflection, and another goal. Deflection. This is pretty pathetic now. That's what I was thinking in this game, anyway. I was really, really depressed, and Adrian does come along here, though, and makes it 4-3 to him still. Um... That means it's three goals towards, and in the last dying minutes of the game, can we score again? No, we can't, but we still have another attack to go. Can we do it? 4-4. Let's see if we can. No, we can't. It's 4-3. That's what it finishes on. I was so annoyed. <laughs> we t uh, we're just going to take a look at the match details anyway. And um, We had 14 shots, 8 on target. Remember, um, we actually had 10 on target because 2 hit the post. Um, and post on target doesn't really count. Anyway, guys, that is it for this episode. If you have enjoyed, make sure to drop a like on it. Over 400 for another episode tomorrow. Subscribe for more. And as always, comment below what comment or, or what play we should be buying next. Sorry. So hopefully you can do that. And as always, guys, I hope you have a great day.